What's up, everybody? This is Ominous for Responsible Gaming, doing episode 175 of Ominous Designs. Quickly, uh, after thanking you for being here today, uh, we're going to go over the cards from last week. Um, so we made Board to Tears. Board to Tears, yes. Um, looks pretty. Uh, well received for the most part. There's nothing much to say about it. You can pay 3 instant speed for minus 3, minus 3, so more or less not that many comment. Uh, number two, Tearing to Shreds, uh, somebody just fixed the name for me, Torn to Shreds would have been perfect, uh, Torn not being uh, taken as uh, Tear is, um, as well as Tearing, but Torn much better, Torn to Shreds. Um, this one actually I didn't get feedback on, unfortunately. Um, I think it's interesting, I, I did really like the second part of it, but um, I'll stick to my opinion, I suppose. Um, today. This is technically a uh, design from the Vaults episode, but of a special kind. Um, let me see if I can find my new template. I'm opening a new template. Actually, no, I'm maybe not opening a new template uh, because I did cards of this kind before. And you wonder what I'm talking about, don't you? There you go. Boom. Yes, we're gonna do unglued. Uh, pawns, pawns, who doesn't like pawns? I have a bunch of pawns uh, ready to go. That's why it's Maze Falls, because I completely missed the occasion of doing it a month ago. Without further ado, um, we're gonna make a blue card. Oh, and this one, <laughs> this one is kind of uh, tricky. Um, so, I wanna make a mana sink, all right? Um, as similarly to the mana leak, um, now the memory leak, memory, is there a memory leak? I'm for, uh, it's mana leak. I must have been confused the first time around. Uh, is there a memory leak? I'm not sure. Um, we're going to do a mana sync though. Problem. Sync in my mind was a pun, but it's not really. Um, it's going to be a pun based on the illustration that I will find, uh, that actually does have a kitchen sink on it. Um, I just realized that uh, earlier. Um, this is the same word. It's fine though. Um, surprisingly enough, uh, mana sink is not a is not a, a card. Um, a po power sink, power sink, I think. Uh, mana drain. Um, let's check quickly. Um, sink, power sink. Yep. Uh, and nothing much all uh, um, otherwise so power sync is a thing it's a counter spell because that makes it makes like intuitive sense um, mana sync not a thing um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it an instant because it's gonna be a counter spell as well that makes a lot of sense uh, it's probably gonna be an uncommon perhaps even a common um, well, you could be a common, I suppose. Um, and I'm thinking, well, I'm just gonna show you this. Counter target spell. And I just come up, I just came up with that, well, a little bit earlier when I was thinking about it. Counter target spell, unless it's controller. Does the dishes, boom, aha. I think that's good. I like it. Um, what else could I ever say about it? I think um, I do need to make it cost three. Otherwise, um, doing the dishes in the middle of a game being quite the hard task to uh, fulfill, that would make for a very powerful spell. At three though, that's probably fine. Uh, note that usually three mana spells nowadays cost two and one and two blue um it's actually somewhat tempting to make it i just realized as i was saying it it's not quite for power level per se it's just so that you don't splash them um that being said i have seen uh quite a few two and blue counter spells no well i've seen some actually let's have a quick look at how many of them um because I think it's a good reason I'm not wanting people to splash counter spells, right? Um, 
And you know, as I keep thinking about it, maybe it's less relevant nowadays because counter spells are not as important as they used to be. Um, just because there's so many creatures uh, of all sorts that you don't really always know. You need to curve out and you don't really know what to counter. Uh, and since in the in the late game, that's at least that's my interpretation. Um, so counter target spell colors blue. Search. Uh, let's see how many two and a blue there is. Um, two and a blue calculated dismissal. Fair enough. Um, two and a blue circular logic. Good old good old um this is oh this is ravnica and um eldric moon Contra target spell and control by four deny existence in um Innistrad as well counter and exile it oh crazy that's um creature spell creature spell okay um yeah you know it exists uh, i think there is a couple more uh exclude counter draw Creature or card. Whoa, that is neat. I like it. Uh, either way, point made. Um, so, mana sink controller does the dishes. Let's move on with life, I suppose. I think that's that's about all there is to say. I'll try and figure out a uh, flavor text. Okay, we're very fast, and I can't say I dislike it. Um, moving on. Second. Second card is going to be called Laughter laughter Pact. Hard. Words are hard. English pronunciation. Boo. Laughter Pact. Uh, Jesus. Laughter Pact. Laughter Pact. Um, so... Over here, in case you didn't know, actually, if I type laughter, laughter pact, leave me alone, I'm not a native speaker. Slaughter pact, uh, and now you get it, and now you get it. I think it's funny. Um, it's it's funny, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, so, what could be a pact uh, with the funny name of laughter pact laughter pact um i think honestly that uh it i think it needs to be black just because there are there are pacts that aren't um uh the of the kind that cost you zero uh, oops sorry like this one cost you zero and you have to pay next turn um to uh, to not lose the game uh, there are many packs, uh, lots of them are black, and a bunch of them are enchants or sorcery, I suppose. Uh, so I guess all, all, all sorts of uh, types. Um, yeah, a bunch of enchants and sorceries, potentially. Um, tainted packs, an instant, another enchantment, and a sorcery. Uh, but... Um, but this card referencing the exact name of Slaughter Pact, um, I think it should at the very least cost zero. I don't know. I, that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, I don't want to make it be paid next turn, I don't think. Uh, because, well, hmm. So, here's the thing. I think uh, if you want to bring in laughter into your card, um, what would be great is to do something like, um, you know, uh, something, something, uh, unless an opponent laughs. Okay. So you're going to make a little game of, uh, first person who laughs, um, loses, um, Actually, yeah, I think I can still make it zero. It does feel like it would be great if um, uh, this was a um, uh, an ancient, so he would stay on the battlefield until somebody laughs and that person uh, loses. But if we really want to push in the pact thing, 
I think so two things you could do maybe destroy or something uh, unless somebody uh, oh, actually that's kind of weird but, but I want to reference the opponents laughing we can we don't have to do unless they laugh we can do if they laugh it's fine so several things we could do we could do um, like until end of turn uh, if they ever laugh they sack a creature um, and the question becomes do we uh, want to add a uh, cost um, next turn and otherwise you lose the game the same way love to pack does um, I think we can skip on that even though it breaks the the parallel um, mostly because it's really not needed um, now there's several things that we could do first the first idea that I had to adapt this design was to say okay until end of turn uh, each player who laughs sacrifices a creature that way you can keep the card at, uh, at a zero mana cost because it's kind of a just gambly funny unglued removal and you really only get the value if you manage to make your opponent laugh and you don't laugh yourself um, which I think is fine um, I got lost. I, I had something else to say when I started this sentence. Um, what are the other combinations that we could do? Um, so you could make it one one directional until end of turn. Target uh, opponent sacrifices a creature if they laugh. Um, and that might still be fine. Oh no, instant speed. Oh, I just realized one thing. Can you cast that instant speed uh, a, a pact to an opponent that is currently laughing? Um, I'm thinking no, right? Because because that would be kind of um, messed up. Though on the other hand, if you could... Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's kind of a tricky one, isn't it? Um... Hmm. The thing that I wanted to mention is the alternative to that um, design is what if I do something like um, uh, until the end of the next turn um, if the opponent laughs they sacrifice a creature at the end of the next turn if they haven't you lose the game um, problem with that is it is not worth it it is really not worth the risk um, so, yeah. Or, make it even weirder, um, until the end of your next turn, um, the person who laughs sacrifices a creature, and if no person laughed, you lose the game, in which case, it just forces you to pretend laugh at the very end of the, of, um, of the turn after so that you need to sacrifice a creature but at the very least you don't lose the game that sounds kind of hilarious actually um so why don't we uh we're making an include card so um virtually anything that we find um uh to be humorous and not busted will uh be acceptable so let's freaking do it um love to pact um until your uh until your next turn the first time each player laughs how do we do that um because we we we, we kind of need to do Or oh, should I make it a rare and make it so that every time you laugh, you sacrifice a creature? That's probably fine, right? That seems fine to me. Because it's a rare. So if you manage to make somebody laugh twice, big deal. They sacrifice two creatures. Yeah, it's just going to be so much easier to word. So until your next turn, every time a player laughs, he or she 
sacrifices a creature. Um, now, okay, we have time. F we have a uh, room for one more uh, mechanic. So, do we want to do one of the both? First, at the end of next time, if nobody has left, you lose the game. Fine. Second, uh, if they can sacrifice a creature, they love the game. They lose the game. <laughs> they love the game. Um, it seems too powerful. Especially since the person who will sacrifice their last creature to love the pact is so likely to have a nervous laugh at the idea of losing to the card that they will just laugh and lose the game. And it's very, very tempting, but boy, would that be strong. Like, I know that... I know I would be, I would have a particularly hard time not laughing when I'm just about to lose to the card. Plus, I might just do it just to just to honor the the mechanic and and be like, you got me with love the pack, really, because that's that's just worth it. Um, so, I, it's fun, but at the same time, I don't want to make a card that's so close to to be an easy uh, win the game. You know, oh, and, and imagine, imagine the opponent has no card and you bust that love the card, love the pack. They're going to be like, oh, they're really going to have to prevent themselves from laughing and lose to, and lose to the card, I think. Um, that's only because I find it funny. Maybe you see the card and you're like, okay, that's stupid. And in which case you're immune to love the pack. Um, so I think everything we've said right now can lead to yeah let's do it or no it's too good oh ship i i busted my my visual treatment over here there you go um hmm tough huh okay mm. hmm I mean, it depends. Like, if if we don't care about making a busted card, I can also say, okay, um, not only we're gonna do the if that person cannot sacrifice a creature, uh, they lose the game, and also I'm gonna do um, at, at the end of your next upkeep, if no opponent uh, left, you lose the game. In which case, this is a um, this is a risky proposition. Um, But yeah, see that that also is too abusable because I know that if I just decide, all right, fine, we're not gonna laugh now unless uh, somebody in front of me is actually really hilarious. I can help myself, and then you make them lose the game, which is kind of a bummer. Um, all right, so I'm gonna roll back the second proposition. Do I do I make the uh, the person who cannot sacrifice a creature loses, or do I make the... I think I'll make the simple kind of balanced version, because I, technically speaking, the include cards are also supposed to be balanced. Um, so I'd rather not make a card that can me win the game on the spot if my opponent just can't help themselves. Um, so... Um, we're gonna copy the wording on this guy and the beginning of the unit keeps keep um, probably gonna do this for line um, and the beginning of the next keep if no player has left and normally you would say since you cast the spell or something like that well, maybe not, because the spell has, doesn't have the ability to to look uh, further in the past. I don't know. Maybe you would have to, but my point was, sometimes there there are things that you should uh, enunciate and say in your spell, and yet you don't because they make sense, and magic sometimes gets away with just plain making sense and not spelling everything out. Um, at the beginning of your next upkeep, if no player has left, you lose the game. Um, 
in which case you can uh, pretend left and sacrifice one of your creature at the last minute which also makes for a pretty good spell if you don't have any creature but you know whatever um boom um nowadays do we actually need to um oh, i guess not i was gonna say uh, is the oracle text uh and force you to say that um the spell is black or not i guess the original of the pack didn't have to say it either no the original did have to say it but the one with the color marker doesn't have to say it which is great because we don't want to bother with that that is all that is the card this is today's cards and um i like them i think they're funny obviously they are not like i mean actually i think they're pretty solid and glued cards um this doesn't need to be uh rare anymore i don't think um and i almost want to make this a common because it's funny and the mana sink i think might be as well I mean, a zero mana removal, but can just fizzle entirely. I don't think that needs to be in common. And I think it's worth playing if you want to create some like kind of funny situation where you're trying to make somebody laugh. That's that's kind of what Unglued is for, right? That will be it. Those are our cards. I will uh, proceed to find illustrations for them. I have a couple lined up. It should be fun. Thanks for watching. Do tell me uh, your thoughts and what you think about the cards today. I will be publishing them in two days because that's an early episode again uh, on Wednesday on uh, all your uh, usual outlets. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, video are going to be up very soon on YouTube. And do check out Custom Magic on Reddit. It's a lot of fun. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. See you 466. 176 even next week. Play responsibly.